three pounds at the door, our hearts pounding out of our chest. They found a hiding spot. Get down, shut up! We wait for the inevitable. Nothing. False alarm. Three more pounds at the door. Let me in quick, she said. We opened the door and bolted back shut. Mary, what are you doing? You're trying to get us killed, we said. He's, he's, he's gone, she said. What do you mean he's gone? I didn't stick around for the answer. I took the bolt off the door and I just bolted. Sprint into the tomb with a million thoughts sprinting through my head. John flies past and beats me there. I catch up and John's just standing there gobsmacked. The stone was rolled over. I stoop into the place where Jesus' lifeless body lay just hours before. And now it's empty. By the clothes he was buried in, folded up tidy. It was empty. We look at each other speechless. I mean, could it? Has he done the impossible? The R word? We couldn't even bring ourselves to say it. Or we just being played, I thought. Some kind of sick joke, some trap set by the Romans, rabbis, pilot, take your pick. We didn't hang around long enough to find out. We legged it back to the hiding spot. The others opened the door and bolted it back shut. And that's just before it happened. You know, the first time. <laughs> Should have seen our faces. I jumped out of my skin. We told Thomas he wasn't buying it. Till a week later, it happened again. Should have seen his face. You'd think we'd known better a third time, right? After things settle down, we go back home to Galilee. So we're down Tiberia Sea, right? There's me, Nate, Tom, James, John, the Zebedee boys. It's pitch black. We're 100 yards out, fishermen right in our sweet spot, trying to make a catch, staying in abysmally. Anyway, day's breaking and this randomer is wandering the shore. Any luck, boys, he said. Not a single sardine, we said. Try the other side of the boat, he said. So we cast our nets the other side of the boat and what do you know? So many fish, not even math attacks could count them. It's him, said John. Well, what are we doing faffing about with all this fish, I thought. I dive straight in, splash, head down, swim to shore. I get there and he's lit up this barbie. How'd you get on with the catch? Any joy, he said. Bring him over here, plenty of room, he said. I look round and see the boys dragging out of the water what must have been the biggest catch I'd ever seen. Anyone for breakfast? He said. So there we were. Stuffing our faces with fish sarnies, just staring at him. We knew it was him. Well, no one dared ask. After breakfast, he asked me if I loved him three times. Yes, Lord, I said. As it brought to mind the three times I flat out denied him. Look after my sheep, he said. You got it, Lord, I said. He had, you know, done the impossible, risen. One time he asked us who he said he was. You're the Christ, I said. The anointed one, the one we'd all been waiting for, the hand-picked rescuer. Still, I didn't see it coming, nor the way it played out. But it was always part of the plan. He came to bear our brokenness to his breaking point. From fully perfect to fully broken to two days later fully fixed so we can be forever fixed in him. Like I said, He'd done the impossible, risen, and there's no denying it. That changes everything. <laughs>